okay so let's continue it from my previous video and if you have uh, not watched that you can check out the link in the description box to watch about uh, my last video and the last video is basically it's for the network components that have to be used in azure the entire playlist is a uh, description in, is also in my description box so you can check it out the entire series of azure beginners to professional in through my description box link okay so let's continue it from there and uh, we talked about uh, the azure network components in the same way we have a virtual uh, network connectivity options so what all the options available to connect with the azure network we have an uh, cross premises option that are available point to site site to site and the express route in the point to site we can connect up to 128 client computers that uh, you wanted to connect you can directly connect it from anywhere from the internet to this point to site vpn uh, through azure uh, from anywhere from the internet to azure network and to establish a secure channel you can use uh, IKE base or like internet key encryption or you can use uh, radius authentication or you can also use a certificate based authentication uh, for mac os linux as well as your windows clients so that uh, will uh, gives you an opportunity you can directly connect it from anywhere just point and then it's just a small application that you have to download it at your machine or you can just configure your vpn at uh, windows 10 or any other machine and you can directly connect it i will show you how we can do that in the next might be in the next video most probably then uh, we have a our next to next video once we do uh, creation of network site vpn then site to site vpn is available uh, in the site to site vpn uh, section we can configure a vpn between or we can configure like IPsec tunnel between Azure network and your on-premises network. So this is most common and most really used. The point to site is used for the small level organizations where they have a limited number of systems and they want to access it. But for site to the site VPN, it's mostly used when you are, you are trying to connect with the on-premises to uh, Azure site. It has a throughput of normally up to 1.25 uh, uh, Gbps in all shared connections if we talk about. Uh, the best option that is not mostly preferred by uh, express route due to its expensive one little bit. But express route is used by the large organization that relies a private connection between your data center and Azure data center. And it has a non Microsoft connectivity provider, but it gives you a complete private sec uh, secure connection between on premises data center as well as to Azure data center, like between these two. So it's supported, like with the number of virtual networks, it can have a number of express routes, gateways, a lot of things can be placed. But it has a maximum bandwidth, less latency, right? But still, the cost is a little bit higher. In the express route we have a vnet to uh, vnet pairing available but it's pairing this option is still in the couple of regions as a public preview till now where you can recite a same azure region or to different azure region connecting it through a virtual networks and scap it can establish a vpn tunnel it's just equivalent to site to site vpn but it's in the different azure regions on the on on premises location as well so we can do that in v2 net v net to v net as well as v net pairing option uh, then we have a uh, the connectivity options if we talk about the virtual gateways so in azure virtual gateway options we have a vpn gateway and the express route gateway that we are establishing it at this moment so in the vpn gateways normally you can uh, configure site to site site to point sorry point to site site to site as well as vnet to vnet and if we talk about the express route in the express route you can support a link a number of virtual networks in your entire express route circuit so that can be built how we can build it i will show you once uh, most probably next to next video once i move to this uh, creation of this uh, vnet reasons that in the next video uh, i will try to cover 
virtual machine creation and then after that next part I will show how we can create the network to connect it the virtual machines okay so if you talk about the overview of network interfaces that is the multi network adopter VMs we have an IP configuration section so these are the basic things that you have to configure it when you are talking about uh, network interface and the network interface configuration so network configuration or network adapters can be added at the time of deployment of VM or can be post deployment also you can use a powershell or uh, azure cli as well as uh, portal the maximum limit depends on the vm size it could be 2 to 8 uh, it, yes there are different type of virtual machines available accordingly to virtual machine sizing you can define it uh, the number of network cards that you can use in the same mac address is also assigned as uh, just similar as the network address you will be getting everywhere so all vm must be on the same virtual network that is the recommended way the vm which you are going to place it for the same network connectivity uh, and you are using a multi-network adapter for the vms not for the single one single one yes can be used it here but for the multi-network adapter you must have a, all vm should be in the same network and the primary network adapter is the default gateway and the secondary network adapter by default no routing beyond the local subnet uh, possible like apart from the local subnet you cannot route it to another um, uh, section or another route you must have to implement a, a router or a routing configuration with the individual gateways so by default it would not be available or by default it cannot be possible to add it you must have to use the router or a routing services if you want to route the traffic then for the IP address configuration if we talk about uh, in that scenario multiple IP configurations per network adapter are still supported that we have a normal on-premises infrastructure an IP must have is a dynamic IP or an S as an static IP public IP is not a um, requirement always but yes uh, private IP address is as a recommended one and that should be uh, implemented also because as a recommended structure you should not use the public IP and should not expose to access your virtual machines you must have a private IP address assigned to machine disable the public access or public IP address access once you establish a proper tunnel and structure if required to enable you can enable it from the portal only so that is not a big challenge once you define a VM I will show you how we can create a VM and how we can enable the public access uh, from the IP or public port how we can enable to access that VM once the VM is established and everything is in place you can use your virtual private network and you can use the VM from that uh, way only for the application or for the services so this is all about uh, the network interfaces and the network component of Microsoft Azure. In the next video, I will uh, show you how we can create a virtual machine. And before that, I will show you how we can uh, define uh, virtual networks, VNets, VNet cards. And then I will show you the creation of this VM. Later on, I will also show you how we can configure site to point, point to site, it's VT, uh, VPNs, etc. Uh, so this is all about guys and we will keep watching my channel Do subscribe it and the next uh, video link is also in the description box you can take it from there as well as the entire playlist is mentioned so you can uh, use that playlist to watch all entire series of this beginners to professional azure thank you so much thank you